Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the new TBS Agent Lite, which is some software that you can run on your TBS Tango 2 radio or really any radio that you might have that's running Crossfire. So I'm sure you all are wondering, what is TBS Agent Lite anyway? Well, the Agent Lite is really a replacement for the existing Lua script, the Crossfire Lua script that you, I assume if you're using Crossfire, you already have a Crossfire Lua script on your radio that allows you to adjust a lot of the Crossfire settings like your frequency and power output and whatnot. Um, it also is sort of a, a rough replacement for the TBS Agent X, which is the application software that you can run on your Mac or your PC to adjust a lot of the same settings. And I suspect that TBS will be adding a lot of new features to this uh, Agent Lite software in the near future, as they hinted to in their recent YouTube video. So now that you know a little bit about what the TBS Agent Lite is, you're probably wondering how do you get it and how do you install it on your radio? So the first step in that process is to go to the TBS website. From here, you will want to find any of the TBS Crossfire radio transmitters, like here the Crossfire Nano, and scroll down to the section where you can download different software like the manuals, and at the bottom of the list is the TBS Agent Lite. Click on that and download the entire zip file someplace on your computer. Next, you're going to want to extract the zip file someplace. Wherever you downloaded it, it's fine. Open up that folder and you'll see that there's the Lua script and the another folder inside. And then at this point, you're going to want to plug in your radio if you haven't done so already, so you can copy the files onto your radio's uh, SD card. All right, so I'm going to plug in my Tango 2 here, and turn it on, and when it powers up from the menu, I'm going to select the option at the bottom that says USB storage or SD card so that my computer can recognize it. So now that my computer recognizes that the radio is plugged in, I'll see here that I've got two new disk drives, one called Tango 2, which is not the one you want to open. Close that. You want to open the one called No Name. And in No Name, I'm going to go in and open the Scripts folder and then go into the Tools folder. And this is where you're going to want to drag and drop or copy and paste both the Lua script and the entire folder called TBS Agent Lite. Drop those in over here and wait a few seconds for those to be copied. And once they're there, you're all set. You can disconnect your radio and the script should be there. And if I hold down the menu button for a few seconds, it will pop up the tools menu so down here on the left side, there's that menu button. Hold it down for a few seconds, and now you see the Crossfire that was there before, Beta Flight Setup, and the new TBS Agent Lite, which you can click the scrolly wheel to fire it up. And now we can see my Tango 2's Crossfire and the Tango Wi-Fi. And if I plug in my flight controller that has a Crossfire receiver attached to it, any second here, there it is. There's my Crossfire Nano receiver that popped up and we can go check out what uh, we can configure in this new TBS Agent Lite. So really, as far as I can tell right now, what you can do in the Agent Lite is the same things you could do in the Crossfire Lua script that I already had, or through the Agent X application on my computer, but it is a much nicer looking interface than the old Lua script. And my guess, uh, based on what TBS has said in their live stream, is that they're going to be adding new features here. And it, it sounds like people had trouble with the reliability of the previous Lua script, and that this new Lua script is supposed to be much more reliable. Um, it looks great on the TBS Tango 2 screen, even though it's super tiny. I know some of the other menus in the Crossfire Lua script uh, didn't quite fit on the screen very well, so hopefully these all fit better. And if you've got... Uh, one of those really nice big color screens on a Radio Master Radio or something. It uh, has some more imagery and everything and looks looks really great on those radios. All right, well, that's it. Uh, now that you've got the TBS Agent Lite installed on your radio, you are ready for whatever TBS brings out next.